Let's have a look today at the movement of the knees in the swing, specifically the right knee. So at address, if we just run through how the, how the legs, how the knees should be positioned at address. So looking from the side, my knees are both flexed a little bit. So the front of my, the, my lower leg is, is uh, leaning forward a fraction. The front of my knee is about level with the, the middle or the end of my laces here. Looking from front on, my ankle, knee and hip joint are in line. So I haven't got like one leg, haven't got my legs knock kneed, haven't got my legs in different positions. They're quite symmetrical and that'll give me good balance at address. So at the start of my swing, I feel uh, relatively flat footed. Flat footed, not in that I can't move, but flat footed in that I can move. So balance is even on both feet. My balance from heel to toe is even, or it's in the middle of my foot there when I set myself up. So I'm ready to move. When I swing the club back, because as my hips rotate, you can see from front on now that as my hips have rotated, my right hip is higher than my left hip. Now because my right hip has turned and become uh, come up a little bit higher, and again it's only rotating sort of on the angle of my belt here, you'll notice that my right leg is just a little bit straighter than, at the top of the swing than what it was at address. Now a really important thing when you're swinging back like this is to be careful that the right knee doesn't straighten and lock. In the downswing, we're looking for the balance to shift back to the left. If, my, if I swing back and my right knee locks, I haven't got the time to move correctly. So my body's probably going to lean or I'm going to swing down with that leg straight. Either way, I'm not able to transmit energy from the ground through my body and arms and the club to make my shots as efficient as possible. So I'll, I'll lose probably directional control and power. So to top of the swing, right knee straightened a little bit. From here, my hips are going to move forward a little bit, but only to the point where my left hip, left knee and left ankle are all sort of vertically aligned here. So I'm not going to swing through and have my knee float. I'm not going to let my hips slide. And also I'm not going to move the opposite way. So I want that vertical alignment. When I get there, looking from here, we can see that my lower legs are both bent about the same as what they were at address. They may be bent a fraction more, but definitely not a lot more, and absolutely they're not straight. And then from there as I continue to swing through, because, my, because of the way my hips are rotating, you can see my right knee is bending more and more as I swing through. It's also moving in, so you can see my right knee moves in. And again, this is just my hips rotating. It, it should do that pretty much automatically. But these are little checkpoints in case the knee goes forward, it locks, or it just doesn't, um, you don't get any hip slide. So these are just good reference points for you. Now, as my hips continue to rotate, I'll get to a point where the pressure is rolling to the inside of my right foot. My knee keeps moving in, and as my hips turn, my heel is pulled up off the ground. So that right knee movement, as I'm swinging down and through, the right knee's sort of it's moving in a, like a little semicircle here, and then eventually it'll come around so far that it's pulled up. So key things with the right knee are not to try and keep the same flex in the backswing. As the club goes back, we're not keeping the same flex. That'll alter my hip height. I definitely don't want the knee locking because that's gonna make it difficult for me to move correctly in the downswing, given that I've got maybe a third of a second or a quarter of a second even, from the top of my swing to impact. So let's look from specifically, or particularly from down the line and watch that right knee movement as I swing back and through. So have a look at what that movement is, or how you're going with that movement, particularly with the right leg. There's another video, have a look at the card and you can see what the left knee should be doing in the swing get them both going and as I said earlier you'll be able to transmit that power much much better from the ground through your body and arms and ultimately into the club head.